everyone, welcome back to our channel Hope. Um, as the weekend and the past few weeks have been so beautiful, um, I thought I'd do a video about how to feel good about yourself in summer. Um, it may sound like not a lot to some people, but also to others, it can bring on a lot of feelings of anxiety, low self-esteem, um, and a lot of feelings like that. So I just thought I'd cover just a few points that I've actually taken on myself um, since doing a bit of research and thinking about it. Um, yeah, that might help you um, feel that little bit better about yourself, a little bit more confident, um, and reduce some anxiety. Tip number one, everybody is a beach body. So if you have a body, it is a beach body. There's not a specific type of body that would count as a beach body. If you have a body and you go to the beach, it's a beach body. It brings me on to number two, which is you are good enough. So I wanted to bring in a Dr. S Dr. Zeus quote here, which is one of my favorite, and it goes along with my you are good enough um, tip number two, which is today you are youer than you. That is truer than true. There is no one alive that is youer than you. So you are the only person that can be you. You are good enough. No one else can be better or worse. Um, so I think it's just to keep in mind not trying to strive for things all the time and just be happy with the way you are. Number three is to get outside. So even if you wake up in the morning, you're feeling a bit down, you don't feel like actually you wanna get out, a little bit of fresh air and a little bit of sun does you a world of good. Um, just going for a walk, maybe to the shops or literally just sitting outside for half an hour making sure you wear SPF, um, can really do you a world of good, even if you don't feel like it at the time. Um, and I think it really can help like endorphins and things like that, uh, just make you feel a little bit happier. Don't compare yourself to others. Kind of goes back to my you are good enough thing, but I think we're all so guilty of comparing ourselves to others. You know, you look on social media and this person's here doing that and this person's wearing this dress and this person's wearing these hot pants and a crop top and you think, oh my God, why don't I look like that? And it's just kind of silly because it doesn't really get you anywhere. It just makes you feel worse about yourself and actually what you need to concentrate on is your own self-confidence. So constantly comparing yourself to others is never going to be good. So try and actively like get out of that mindset and think about the positives in yourself rather than looking at everyone else all the time. The next one is be kind especially to yourself. So being kind to others is super important but also be kind to yourself. So good deeds that you might do for other people, maybe sometimes do them for you, maybe just think to yourself actually I'm going to take half an hour and just sit down and read a book because that's what I want to do right now rather than kind of always being in a rush and always pushing yourself to the limit. Take time and actually enjoy yourself and give yourself time to breathe and relax and stuff like that. The next one is what's your language and that relates specifically to the language you use of yourself. So Say for example, there's a picture of you and someone says, oh my God, you look amazing in that picture. I think a lot of us are guilty in saying, oh no, I don't, oh no, no, like that dress was just like a pound from Primark or something like that and you really put yourself down. I think instead of thinking about the negative, like take compliments and almost compliment yourself. So look in the mirror and think, oh, actually I look quite nice today or, you know, I look nice in this dress or, you know, I quite like how I feel in this. And actually take time to give yourself compliments like you would give compliments to other people. Um, it can do you a world of good, even just saying it now, I feel a bit nice. Um, but it can do you a world of good to, it's almost changing to a positive mindset rather than a negative one. Um, but if you give it a go, I think you'll be surprised how you feel in your mind and how you feel that change as well. The next one is to surround yourself with people who make you feel good and confident about yourself. I've actually taken this one on board recently. Um, so if there's a group of people, for example, that actually make you feel a little bit, they might not even do it on purpose, it might just be your own insecurities, but say they make you feel a bit bad about yourself, or you know when you go you think, actually I don't really have much in common, and you kind of dread it a little bit, and you kind of can come away thinking, well, I don't know, me and, I know me and Sam do, we always overthink what we've said, and then we think, oh my God, did I look stupid? And I think, Sometimes putting yourself in those situations is worse than actually going in the first place. 
Um, so if there are situations that you feel like you're going to feel super unconfident and you, you know you're going to come away thinking, why the hell did I go? Maybe do yourself a favour and step back for a little bit and just regain your confidence. Um, something that I've done recently, so, and it has helped, and you actually feel a little bit exhilarated sometimes when you make decisions like that. Um, so just, I think it's being aware of how situations and certain people make you feel, um, and everyone's different, but taking that on board, and again, being kind to yourself, always helps. The last one on my list is to wear what makes you feel comfortable and confident actually. So this is a typical example. When me and my sister went shopping a few weeks ago, we went into Topshop and I saw this beautiful like red chiffon kind of crop top thing. Um, it was quite low cut, it had long sleeves, so I kind of felt, oh okay, the long sleeves kind of make, make up for the low cut and the crop and stuff. Anyway, I tried it on and it fitted and I thought, okay, um, and basically, I picked it up because it looked like it was in fashion. Rather than actually wanting to wear it, it just looked like it was in fashion. So I put it on, I had a pair of white jeans on, and I felt really horrible in it. But it fitted, and I thought, okay, well maybe I can kind of make myself wear it, I'll look good when I'm out. Um, and then, so I bought it, and then we walked around the shops a little bit more, and I said to my sister, actually, do you know what? I know that every time I put that top on, I'm gonna feel really uncomfortable, really self-conscious, even though she, you know, she said it looked lovely on me, I personally just felt really uncomfortable in it. And so I decided to return it. And I'm so pleased I did because I think sometimes like not all the fashions suit everyone and not everyone feels comfortable in certain clothing. And it's important that you wear what you feel comfortable in and not wearing something where you go out and think actually I feel really self-conscious right now you know I hate the way I look I think you're almost like you're almost your own worst enemy then because you're doing it to yourself um, and that's kind of what I felt like I was like why did I just spend 40 pounds on a top that I actually felt uncomfortable and yes it fitted but I didn't feel confident in it at all and I think that's really important, especially in summertime when you're wearing a lot less. You want to wear things that you feel confident in, you know, that you feel classy in, um, and stuff like that. So I think that's a really important one, and definitely take that on board, because there's so many fashions now, you can't keep up with them anyway. And sometimes just a simple shorts and t-shirt does the job. So sometimes I think you need to weigh up whether you want to feel good about yourself and whether self-esteem and confidence is more important than looking the part or wearing the fashion. So yeah, that was just my experience of that one. But I'd love to know if you've got any other comments. Um, I think also just drinking plenty of water, keeping yourself hydrated, keeping your mind kind of healthy, things like that are super important for just self-esteem. I hope this video has um, helped and if you have any comments, please um, post them below and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, bye.